Hey, thanks a lot. We'll have more on the flooding in South Miami data in a minute. But first, the first time since being sentenced to 20 months in prison, Rudy Giuliani's associate, Lev Parnas, is talking to CBS News Miami. And Parnas was convicted of fraud and campaign finance crimes. CBS News Miami's Jim DeFitti spoke with him about his connection to Governor Ron DeSantis. And this is for really the first time I'm coming out with Ron DeSantis because it was primarily Earl Trump, 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 Trump. And now that Ron's running for president, it's, uh, you know, I feel it's my duty to finally get the truth out there. Ukrainian-American businessman Lev Parnas was a central character in the scandal surrounding Donald Trump's first impeachment. Working with Rudy Giuliani, Parnas sought damaging information from Ukrainian government officials on Hunter Biden in 2019. That same year, he would also be arrested and ultimately convicted of defrauding investors and accused by federal prosecutors of illegally funneling Russian oligarch money into American campaigns. After Parnas's arrest, DeSantis announced he was turning over to the federal government a $50,000 donation from one of Parnas's companies to his 2018 campaign. Parnas's prosecution did not involve the contribution to DeSantis. But this is a guy who, you know, at RNC functions, Trump victory functions. I mean, he was he was at a lot of these things, was, um, I think, viewed as one of the, the top supporters of the president in Florida. And so it was just like any other any other donor. Um, nothing more than that. In this, his first television interview regarding DeSantis, Parnas said his relationship to the presidential candidate was far greater than DeSantis described at the time. I was more than just a donor or supporter. Uh, like I said, we became friends. The DeSantis campaign did not respond for a request for comment from CBS News. A spokesman for the campaign told Reuters, this is another recycled narrative that has been proven wrong many times over. Parnas pleaded guilty to wire fraud and was also convicted by a jury of campaign finance crimes. He was sentenced to 20 months in prison and is now serving the remainder of his sentence under supervision in Boca Raton. Parnas provided CBS News with more than 60 text messages he said were between him and DeSantis between May and October 2018. They purportedly reveal a concerted effort by DeSantis to have Parnas serve as a gateway into Trump's inner circle. The existence of these text messages was first reported this week by Reuters. Parnas described the moment he said DeSantis approached him for the first time in the lobby of the then Trump International Hotel in Washington, D.C. in early May 2018. He told me that he's running for governor of Florida and that he really, you know, wanted to try somehow get Trump's endorsement, Trump's support. Uh, and he, t he told me that he was aware that he was told that because of my relationship with Trump and Rudy that I could make it happen. The text messages he provided appear to show DeSantis regularly contacted Parnas, asking for help with bringing in big money donations. In one text, DeSantis asked regarding a possible donor, would it be reasonable for me to ask him to donate 50,000? I think he did six figures for Trump. Parnas responded, I'll call you later and give you a good insight. The text he gave us showed they shared gossip about different donors. Speaking of another possible donor, DeSantis wrote, make sure Robert gives a lot. Well, I mean, I've introduced him to a lot of wealthy donors, even donors that donated to him before. I would go out there and see him and ask them to give more money. Parnas said he was helping DeSantis because he wanted to get involved in the marijuana industry in Florida. I was a very big cannabis supporter, and I knew Ron at the time was not, he was anti-cannabis, and I made it clear to him. I said to him, listen, Ron, I said, it's very difficult for me to support somebody that is not go, is going to go against things that I'm going to need, want in the state of Florida. Because you wanted to open up, you wanted to open up dispensaries, you correct. wanted to be involved right. in, I wanted the, in the to, marijuana market. Correct, and that's when Ron turned around to me and said, you know what, uh, I would be open to uh, thinking uh, differently about cannabis if you were to get me Trump's support. In July 2018, a few weeks after Trump's formal endorsement, DeSantis came out in support of medical marijuana. The text messages Parnas provided also showed DeSantis suggested Parnas should encourage Giuliani to attack his opponent, Andrew Gillum, who had become enmeshed in a public corruption investigation. On October 26, 2018, just days before the election, Parnas wrote, Hey, Ron, I'm going to have Rudy do a tweet about how crooked Gillum is. DeSantis wrote back, He needs to hit him hard on his scandal. Can he say, as a prosecutor, this would be an indictable case, etc.? 
After the election, Gillum was indicted. He was found not guilty of lying to the FBI, and the remaining charges were dropped by federal prosecutors. In the run-up to the November 2018 election, Parnas and Giuliani flew around the state, following DeSantis's campaign plane and appearing with him at various rallies. On election night, one of the first people DeSantis hugged on stage was Parnas, telling him, we did it. I thought he was my friend. I thought he was going to you know, be a good governor. I thought all of this, we had all these ambitions, all these plans, and all of a sudden, once he became governor, you know, he pretended like, you know, he has no time for me. You know, a lot of people will hear you say this and say that you can't be trusted, that you've been convicted on, on trying to defraud investors in a company, that, that given your track record, that, that the things you say now shouldn't be taken seriously. How would you respond to that? Well, you have to look at life as well. You know, people make mistakes. I mean, just, yes, what I've done, you know, and I'm paid the t price for it, and I'm currently still paying the price for it. That doesn't mean that my whole life, that's who I am, or my whole life, that's who I was. Parnas said he met privately with DeSantis one last time in January 2019, after DeSantis was sworn in as governor. He said DeSantis told him they were still friends, but could no longer be seen publicly together because of the stories starting to merge about Parnas. According to Parnas, DeSantis told him, you're still my boy. After that, he says, DeSantis stopped returning his calls. I'm Jim DeFee.